This is my Minecraft house. As you can see, it sucks. And I'm sick of it. I want to build the best Minecraft house possible, so I'm gonna do what any reasonable person would do. I'm gonna gather the rarest blocks in all of Minecraft and use them to build a house. Yep. I'm not even kidding. To make this house as cool as possible, I'm starting off with the more casual rare blocks, and I'll work my way up to using a bunch of insane secret methods that most people don't even know about to obtain the super rare blocks later on. This house is going to be insane, but there's a problem. Even the easiest rare blocks on the list are gonna be really hard to get. For example, the first block is pink wool, but from a naturally spawning pink sheep. But pink sheep only have a 0.164% chance of spawning naturally. Yeah, that is really rare. The first thing I need to do is craft a ton of Fireworks because if I want to find this thing, I'm gonna have to search over tens of thousands of blocks. Oh, what the? Bro, I just found a Bruh. mushroom biome. If you didn't know, this is actually the rarest biome in all of Minecraft. And one of the blocks I need is mycelium, so I'll just take that. Oh, wait, that does not work. Will the silk touch pickaxe work? It does work. One rare block down and a lot more to go. Oh, wait, is that it? Okay, no, those are pigs. All right, I've been flying around for about 20 minutes, and uh, I still don't have pink sheep. <sighs> I better find one soon. What? Oh my god. No way, bro. I found it. I found the pink sheep. All right, I am back at my house, and now we can place the first two blocks. One there, and one there. Wow, my house is looking way better. This is actually so nice. Nah, I'm just kidding. But it is gonna look insanely cool once I get the rest of the rare blocks. Alright, Deep Slate Emerald Ore is the next block that I need to find. Because it's the rarest ore in the whole game. Now you might be thinking, aren't diamonds or ancient debris more rare? And my answer to that is nope, they are not. Deep Slate Emeralds are the rarest, but it can't be that hard to find, right? All I have to do is go mining, and I should just be able to find- What the- Bro, it's been 20 minutes and I still haven't found it. At first, I thought it would be easy, but I'm starting to think it's actually gonna take a while to find this thing. <sighs> Let's just hope I find it soon. Oh, bro! Let's go, dude! Oh my gosh, finally! And now... Nice. I'm also going to add in a jukebox because you need a diamond to craft one. So yeah, four blocks done. All right, it's time to take it to the next level. The next block I'm gonna get is a full netherite block. That's right, a netherite block before I have Bruh. netherite armor. I afk last night for a bunch of gunpowder, so now I need sand for TNT. All right, that should be enough. And now I can craft it all into TNT. Wow, that's a lot. All right, it's nether time. By the way, I need 36 ancient debris for one netherite block. Yeah, I've got a lot of mining to do. But thankfully, I've got... TNT. Okay, that's the first ancient debris. Nice. Two right here. Three, four, five. All right, time for some more mass destruction. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bruh. Why did I do that? And so, the next couple of hours were spent placing TNT, blowing it all up, mining ancient debris, and doing it all over again. Alright, the 36th ancient debris, baby. But I still need to get five more. Because in addition to crafting one netherite block, I also want plain ancient debris and a lodestone. Which means I have to keep mining. <sighs> Bro, what am I doing? So, I continued to absolutely destroy the nether using TNT. As it turns out, 12 stacks of TNT does quite a bit of damage. Oh, I see some ancient debris. This is epic. All right, there it is. 42 ancient debris. All right, that's three more rare blocks added to the house. This is already coming together, bro. Look at this. I can't wait for this house to be done, bro. Keep in mind, the blocks I need to get are only getting harder and harder to find. And the next block is a full-on beacon. To get one of those, I need to kill a wither. So I am back in the nether to kill some wither skeletons. And none of them dropped a skull. But at least I got two stone swords. That's really useful. So I spent the next few hours literally just killing wither skeletons. And I ended up getting four of them in total instead of the usual three. You'll see why later. Also, look how many drops I got. I think I ended up killing over a hundred wither skeletons. Hopefully none of them had families or anything. That would not be good. Okay, now it's time to kill the wither. So I guess I'll just dig down here. All right, this hallway is like a mile long. And now I can spawn the wither. Oh, okay. Oh, what? 
Bro, how did it have that much range, dude? What? I only have one totem left now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Take that. Now I can craft the beacon. Oh, the beacon, baby. And I think I'll place it. Okay. Okay, I think I'll place it right there. Bro, are you serious? Okay, next I need to get the five coral blocks because coral reefs are the rarest ocean biomes. And I'm pretty sure they only spawn in the light blue warm ocean, so I need to find one of those. So there I was, ready to fly for hours to find this biome. And yeah, took me two Bruh. seconds. That may have been the fastest I've ever found a rare block in this video, but you know what? I'm not complaining because that just means I can get this build done quicker. But there's a problem. If I place these blocks, they, I think they just, um, um, yeah, okay, they turned gray. So to fix that, so now it should just stay the same color. Nice, okay. If I come back and it's gray, I'm gonna be mad. Now I'm gonna get the rest of the mob heads. But the issue is, these three mob heads are gonna be really hard to get, so I'll start off with the dragon head. Oh wait, I just realized I forgot to get the dragon egg. Okay, there we go. All right, dragon head. I need to find one of those end city ship things. Bro, how did I miss that? Why am I so bad at flying? Okay, there we go. This is the greatest thing ever. All right, dragon egg. And before I place in these two mob heads, I still need to get three more. And I'm pretty sure I need to kill each of the mobs with a charged creeper. Yep, a charged creeper. One of the deadliest mobs in the whole game. To get a charged creeper, I need a channeling trident. So I'm gonna head over to my enderman farm. Why is that always so loud? Oh, channeling, baby. Nice. Okay, now that I have channeling, I can head back to the overworld. And now I think if I just hit this... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I forgot it needs to be raining for this to work. Oh, my God. And so I just AFK'd for a few hours waiting for it to rain. And you want to know what happened? Nothing. It didn't even rain. So I had no choice but to keep on waiting until eventually... All right, it is now raining and it's nighttime. And now I think if I just do this... Yup, it is charged, bro. Follow me, skeleton. Come over to this creeper. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, it worked, dude. I got the mob head. Charge that. I'll just ignite it and back up. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. Did I even get it? Oh, yeah. Okay, I got it. And now it's just the creeper head, I think. All right, ignite, punch. Come on. Yes. Now I've got every single mob head in the game. All right, here's the five mob heads looking pretty good. I'm now realizing I left a bunch of giant craters all over the place. I probably should have thought about that before blowing up a bunch of charged creepers. The final set of blocks that I need to get before I can start getting the super insane blocks like bedrock are all the glazed terracotta blocks. To get those, I need to find a mesa biome. Another super rare biome that took me way too long to find. Anyways, let me just grab a bit of this. All right, that should be enough. And with that, the easy part is now done. Because now I need to get every single color of dye in the game. Red, yellow, blue, light gray, pink, black. Oh, was that your friend? White, orange, brown, purple, magenta, light blue, green, lime, gray, and last but not least, cyan. All right, I finally have every single color of dye. And now I need to craft it into terracotta. This looks so weird in my inventory. And lastly, I need to burn all of it. Smelt, burn, glaze, whatever you want to call it. And there is every single type of glazed terracotta. This house is looking absolutely insane. But you may have noticed that the entire front of the house is missing. And that's because it is now time to get the super rare unobtainable blocks that aren't even possible to get in normal Minecraft. You see, there have been certain ways throughout Minecraft's history to obtain these rare blocks in the really old versions of Minecraft. The first block I want to get is the end portal frame, which means I need to go all the way back to Minecraft beta 1.9. Wow, this version is really old. All right, to get the end portal frame, I need to find the stronghold. And you might be thinking to find the stronghold, I need to beat the entire game. But in reality, all I had to do was find this. Because for some reason, these glass pillars mark the location of the stronghold. But before I go down, I need to get TNT. It's already turning night, which means there's going to be creepers here soon. Yes. Okay, that's the first gunpowder. Hit, back away. Hit, back away. These creepers go so far when you hit them. Oh, there we go. And that is... Uh, and... Yes, okay. Finally, I can go into the stronghold. Let me just block up above me. And there we go. I'm in the stronghold. All right, I have found the main room. And, um, yeah. 
Uh, I don't even know what to say. For some reason, the end portal frames look like this. But when I bring it back to my main world, it's gonna look normal, okay? Trust me. Let me just place the TNT and run away. Okay, um... Yeah, there we go. I now have the end portal frame, baby. So now I need to get the spawner. And to get that, I need to get a silk touch pickaxe. In every other version of Minecraft, you can't mine a spawner with silk touch. But surprise, surprise, in this version, you can. All right, first, I need to grab a few books. You may have noticed that the text in the top left is gone. And that's because I updated to pre-release 4. Which means the end portal frame looks normal now. Kinda. Anyways, it's now time for some good old-fashioned mining. I need to find diamonds for an enchanting table for Silk Touch. Alright, I have found diamonds, but it's not enough. To get the spawner and the bedrock later on, I'm gonna need way more diamonds. So, I guess I'll just continue mining. Just kidding, that would take way too long. Instead, I'm going to abuse an old Minecraft glitch and duplicate the diamonds. Alright, I may have gone a little overboard, but you know what? Two stacks of diamonds is better than... I don't know, not having two stacks of diamonds? And by the way, don't worry, I'm not gonna take the cheated diamonds back to my main world. I'm only using it to speed up the process. Speaking of speeding up the process, this obsidian is taking forever to mine. Alright, now I can craft the enchantment table, but the issue is Silk Touch is a really high level enchantment, and I only have 5 levels. So I spent the next hour killing mobs to get more levels. And by mobs, I mean a ton of silverfish. For some reason, there was just an infinite number of silverfish in the stronghold. I have no idea why. But finally, after getting enough levels, I set up an enchanting area, and I did not get Silk Touch. But that's not a problem, all I have to do is grind a few more levels and... Oh wait, I just lost 30 levels. Levels. Oh, I have to grind it all back. Oh my gosh, bro. Silk touch. Dude, that took so long. This is the moment of truth. The past 76 hours. Okay, I did not spend that long, but you get the point. The past 76 hours have been spent trying to get this... Yes, bro, it actually worked. No way, bro. I actually have a spawner. All right, I have updated to a brand new Minecraft version. We already have the end portal frame and the spawner, which means it's time to get bedrock. Oh, boy. Okay, this is where it gets serious. All right, first off, I need to craft a bunch of end crystals, which means you need to die. Bro, this gas is actually so scared. He's not even coming close to me. Come on, where are you going? And so, I spend the next couple of hours gathering a ton of gas tears. Alright, next I need to get 17 Eyes of Ender. 5 for the crystals, and 12 more for the end portal. Because to get bedrock, I'm gonna have to beat the Ender Dragon. Oh, shoot! I'm down to 4 hearts, bro. Alright, now that I have enough blaze rods and enough gas tears, I need to kill a bunch of Endermen. Oh, what the heck. Oh, shoot! Okay. The next few hours were spent killing Endermen at night and AFKing during the day. And finally, after a couple of close calls... Oh my gosh, dude, finally. You do not know how long that took, bro. And now, I can just construct my own end portal. Look at that. Alright, it is now time to kill the Ender Dragon, baby. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, I got it. For some reason, the Ender Dragon uh, is now invisible. You know what? It's dying, so I don't care. Bro, why are those Endermen so mad? All right, there we go. Easiest fight of my life, not even hard. All right, now it is time to get Bedrock. Step one is to replace the top Bedrock with the Crystal. I have no idea why it does that, but it does mean the glitch is working. Then, oh, um, then I just go ahead and respawn the Dragon, except... I don't. And now the top bedrock is gone, and I think it should just be in the overworld. All right, I am back in the overworld, and, um, I don't see the bedrock. Um, oh! Yo! Oh my gosh, bro, bedrock! I have obtained bedrock in No Cheats Vanilla Minecraft. Oh, okay, it feels good to be back. About 10 minutes ago, I placed the three blocks in a chest in the nether. And then I switched out my main nether for the old nether. So now, if I go to the exact same place as where I put the chest, the three blocks should be there. I'm really hoping this actually worked, because if it didn't, then this was all for nothing. But anyways, all I need to do now is find this chest. And, um, oh, wait. Oh, shoot, that's my nether portal. Which means it probably worked, yup. This is the moment of the moment of truth, okay? Once I open this chest, all three blocks should be in there, okay? 
Yo! Bro, it actually works. No way. The only downside is my entire nether is reset. But you know what? Who cares? All right, I am back at the rarest house in the whole game. And it is finally time to place in these blocks, okay? I'll put the spawner here, end portal frame here, and bedrock right here. And as a final touch, grass block. There we go. That is the finished rarest house in Minecraft. Also, shout out to Kalani for inspiring me to make this video. The methods I used to get the rare blocks were taken from his video, so credit to him. Anyways, go watch the video on the screen and also subscribe.